Hey, 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 everybody. What's going on? See if we can't get a couple people up in here. Hopefully, Mr. Ryan, Life of a Fly Fisherman, a.k.a. the Fly Fishing Ninja, will join us. All right, we got somebody in here. Scotty Hill, what's going on, brother? Hoping the Fly Fishing Ninja will come in here in a second. Received my giveaway from him today. Didn't catch a dang fish. I hooked into one. And uh, when I got my hook and everything reeled back in, I noticed it was one of those really cheap hooks that I've got in my tackle box. I grabbed a snailed hook, pretty snailed hook that I had. And Hey, Dewey, what's going on, brother? And their junk it's i've got toenails sharper than those hooks were hell stan how you doing sir got a little giveaway here i'm fixing to open it up that i won from uh life with a fly fisherman aka fly fishing ninja well it's a new rod but I haven't got to open it yet. I'm waiting to get a few people in here to open it. I was hoping it's what? 7.30? 8.30 at the ninja's house. <clears throat> but I think we'll go ahead and open it. I'm excited. I've gave him two minutes to get in here notifications may not be working yeah so we'll see if we can set this up here wow there it is all right here we go let's see what we got here it's the i picked the tinkara type carp rod Get the box out of my face. All right. Well, they got it wrapped up good. That's for sure. It's an awful big box. All right. Let's see here. Here it is. Florida Pirate, what's going on? Unboxing the car style carp rod that I won from Fly Fishing Ninja. <clears throat> Go Tour 360. There it is. This thing is supposed to be a carp rod. Take the little gold cap out of it. Rip and tip, what's going on? I'm uh, opening. Oops. All right, good. Now I messed up my little stand. All right. It's got a nice little tip that keeps it in. This thing's supposed to be 12 foot long. There's the end of it. <clears throat> I guess you tie your line onto that. I don't have trout, so I think this is gonna make one heck of a bluegill rod though. See if we can get a look. There's the handle. Goes all the way, almost to the wall over. Let's see. Touching the deer. 
And you see the deer over there? It's touching it. I may take it to a Candleton Dam and try it for some skipjack. That'd be a heck of a fight for skipjack. Yeah, no kidding. Fan will tear it up in a heartbeat, won't it? So there's that. Ninja, when you watch this, if you watch this, I appreciate it. I will get a lot of use out of this little thing. Looks like it's even got a YouTube play button on it. I think it comes with two or three tips, too. Yep. How you would change this out, I have no idea. tip is super small. I mean, I fished with mono bigger than the tip of this thing. Murder, what's up, brother? Showing off my rod I won from the Ninja. Got home, it was laying in the yard. I guess the wind blew it off the porch. But this will be a bluegill killing machine. The end of it came up. Anybody go fishing today? Besides me, got sunburnt and all that good stuff. Hey, country mom. <laughs> Murder, I'm still singing that damn intro song that you've got. I can't get it out of my head. I hope you're happy. Kentucky is good. Texas Savage, what's going on? Yeah, the drunken sailor. I mean, I'm sitting there fishing today, thought I didn't have a thought in my mind, and all of a sudden I'm like, dun, 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 dun. Hey, there's no getting it out. Hey, let's sit out in the sun today. I think I got a little dehydrated. Had a spider hiding in my mug. Now, if anybody's scared of spiders, I don't want to ruin your whole outlook on life, but you know that there is a spider within four foot of you every second of your life. That's about it. I just wanted to show everybody my new rod that I got from Mr. Ninja at Life of the Fly Fisherman. I'm really proud of that. I don't want to ever win anything, so. Yeah, that's my dad's first turkey he ever killed. And when he passed, I took it. And then that deer is the first deer 
I ever killed. I killed it with a 16, or no, killed it with a 35 Remington. And then the nine point dressed out at 245. That was dressed. I shot him with my 30 out six. And I got a little crappie up there on the wall. He weighed three and three pounds and a couple ounces, I believe. And then the bass was 11 pounds, five ounces, I believe. Those were a long time ago when I kept everything that I caught. That's cool, murder. And you know the, those old mounts like that? God, they're... Yeah, that's my ditch pickle. I caught that in a pond that you could probably set my house over top of it. And I live in like a thousand square foot house it's real small just me so i just followed it around and took a beetle spin and just kept dropping it in front of her nose until she took it <clears throat> buddy we'll go outside sat out in that sun all day a buddy of mine had bought some hooks Real cheap. I don't know. I think it was like twenty-five eight-dot hooks for fifteen bucks, and they're just the dullest things I've ever seen. Dewey, when you fixing to hit the Rudy Inlet again? All right, hard charger. <clears throat> One day I am coming east and I'm gonna fish with Mr. Dewey Cash and Mike Chavez if he ever gets off work. Twenty pound catfish in Florida. Look, I guess it's a big blue. There's my buddy there. Buddy. Buddy, come here. I'm gonna start taking him fishing with me at the river and stuff. Yeah, you and me both murder. I shot one one time and tied all four of its legs together and put it up on my left shoulder and walked out with it like a purse. But boy, it's good eating. Oh yeah, I seen that on Facebook. There goes my ex-wife and my daughter. Yeah. When you got neighbors like this right here, live over there, it's really quiet. They don't bother you or nothing. Blue light, support of law enforcement. Uh, that's the biggest funeral home in Owensboro, right across the street. Murder, I got hooked on a log today, and there wasn't nobody around for me to play it out like I hooked into a giant fish. I think I was live at the time, but it just don't get the same effect as somebody looking at you in person.
Tell you what, if I could figure out how to get that stump up, though, I guarantee you there's a lot of good hooks and lures on it. Because I was moving it with my 80-pound braid, and it got caught on something else. Used a swamp log. <clears throat> uh, I guess if a guy had some diving equipment and a good sonar, you can pick up the logs. You can find quite a bit of money in the Ohio River. Yeah, I seen where he got put on the six twelves. I think he only gets Sunday off right now. part of working for the government and see you Florida have a good one man but I was just wanting to get on here show everybody my uh, new Tinkara rod I'm gonna try it out for some bluegill probably probably Friday or Saturday and uh, See if I can't catch some bait for Monday. If my buddy makes it down Monday to go to Candleton Locks and Dam. They get to go back with you to Rudy Inlet. Scotty, you still in here? You, you gonna make it Monday? Yeah, I'd like to go to Bob's with you if I ever make it out there. I ain't ever caught a pickerel. And those things look, look good, fun to catch. Good deal. I'll find out what time I've got physical therapy Monday morning, Scott, and then I'll give you a text. Monday, when Scotty and I get together, we should have a pretty good live feed going then. If nothing else, catching Asian carp. Because they're up there by the hundreds upon thousands of Asian carp next to that dam. All right, fellas, appreciate you tuning in. Ninja, when you get a chance to watch this, I appreciate it. I'm Kentucky Catman, and I'll catch y'all on the next cast. Y'all have a good one.